This is Susan Sanonamaker with sunisfuture.net. Here we have the University of Minnesota team and Larry Chang here Larry Chang. is an uh, engineering senior and engineering students at University of Minnesota. Uh, Larry, tell us a little bit about your learning experience from participating in the American Solar Challenge. Uh, the University of Minnesota Solar Vehicle Project has taught me pretty much everything I know about engineering um, because honestly when I go through all my classes I get to learn about all the theory and everything but I never actually get to apply it until I work on this uh, kind of club style activity and uh, when I started back three years ago I honestly would say I know a lot less about uh, actually being a real engineer and everything I know about building designing and taking things to manufacture testing and actually creating a live running vehicle or anything at all uh, I've learned from this project fantastic so let all the students out there and professors hear this and uh, what about in terms of uh, let's say how many was more than half or less than half of your members are new or uh well, what happens with our team is we generally have about 40 members at all times and it kind of grows and shrinks depending on the summer or uh, when people are available. Um, throughout the entire project, I would say we have somewhere around 100, 200 people that actually come in and out of our project, but our dedicated core is about 40 people. And um, of those people, we have all sorts of people that are of all age ranges. Um, what it comes down to is if you're willing to learn, if you're willing to work on something and apply some your excellence to our team, you'll quickly become somebody that uh, we begin to rely on. Very good. And what about in terms of uh, rules and regulation this year? Has, is there a slight variation from last year? The, uh, the biggest variation from our previous vehicle is the size of the solar cells. Uh, solar arrays, I'm sorry. Uh, we are limited to six square meters of solar cells instead of nine square meters, and uh, that has significant gains and uh, significant problems as well. The biggest gain is you have less array space, so you can start designing a more aerodynamic car. Um, you don't have to have flat parts of the uh, solar cells pointing at the sun. However, um, because you have less solar cells, you have less power. So this year we're actually using sun power cells, which are some of the best on the market. And uh, using 3M encapsulation, we've actually got a very, very powerful array that's stronger than our array last time. Did you have to donate it? I mean, do they donate it or did you have to purchase it? Sun power is a very large sponsor to us. They've donated a uh, a lot of cells to us and uh, 3M we've actually been working with them with a proprietary encapsulation technique and uh, we're one we're the only team that's using this technique and it's actually shown significant gains while we're testing it oh fantastic what about is it let's see I see the top is yes. it charging right now right now we have our solar cells pointed at the Sun because when it's normal to the Sun um, pointing straight at the Sun that's when you get the most power mm -hmm. and uh, what we do is we put that on top of the sh car when we're actually racing, but uh, at the beginning of the day and at the end of the day, you're allowed a few hours of charging time. So we try to get the most power we can. Very good. So you're taking advantage of our wonderful sunshine oh, right now. Oh, it's beautiful in New York right now. Oh, I a hope. A little warm though, a little warm. Well, I hope for the remaining of the seven days or so, you're gonna have seven or eight days uh, yep. completely full of sunshine. Yep, we'll be in St. Mm -hmm. Paul on the 21st and uh, hopefully yep. At the Capitol building? Exactly, mm -hmm. yeah. And the solar cells you're using are completely silicon, right? Every team here, except for a few grandfathered teams, have silicon solar arrays. Um, all sorts of different kinds, but it seems like out of the top competitors, sun power cells are the ones that are on top. Very good. Well, would you like to uh, show us some of your other team members? Well, certainly. Well, uh, you were asking about younger team members. Uh, we've got Stephanie here. Uh, she's a freshman. Hi. How are you? And, uh, Right down here working on our car currently, um, Neil Danclaw, he's a junior, senior, senior-ish kind of thing. Hi, how you doing? And uh, he's actually going to be our next team leader, so um, he'll be taking care of a lot of administration as well as designing and constructing our, constructing our next vehicle. Okay, passing the torch, so to speak, huh? Yeah, exactly. Very good. Uh -huh. Arlo down here is one of our electrical members. Uh, yep. He's, Hello. Hi. Your name? I'm Arlo. Pretty nice. It's a very talented guy working on our strategy and a lot of our electronic uh, components as well. Uh, let's see, we've got all sorts of people just kind of running around doing their own thing because we are still unpacking for this right now. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate this thank interview and uh, best of luck to all of you. Thank you very much. Okay, signing out, Susan Sun Nanamaker with sunisfuture.net here at uh, beautiful sunny state of New York and right here, Rochester, New York with American Solar Challenge 2012. Thank you.